I recently picked up this lemon clock kit. Lemon not included, but don't worry, I got one. It comes with a little clock with a red and black wire, a loose white wire and four pieces of metal, two zinc and two copper. To get the clock to work, it needs a battery and we're going to make that battery with a lemon. First I attach the red wire to a piece of copper and the black wire to a piece of zinc. I then used small pieces of electrical tape to secure the wire. And I attached the two remaining pieces of metal to either end of the white wire in the same way. So this is the clock, but it doesn't work yet until we add a lemon. I put the opposite ends of the clock each into their own lemon half and then connected the white wire by pairing zinc with copper in each lemon half so it becomes a full circuit. And it's working! You can even use the little buttons on the side of the clock to set the date and time but as soon as I disconnect the wires the clock resets. The pieces of metal act as electrodes of the battery and this experiment only works because they're made of two different types of metal. Both zinc and copper react with the lemon juice but they don't do this in the same way. At the location where the zinc electrode touches the lemon, zinc molecules dissolve into the solution and turn into positively charged zinc ions and negatively charged electrons. At the copper electrode, hydrogen ions from the acidic lemon juice react with electrons from the copper and produce a small amount of hydrogen gas. So the zinc electrode produces electrons and the copper electrode uses them up. That creates a net flow of electrons from the zinc through the wires to the copper. So the lemon clock works, but does it work with other foods? A lime is almost the same as a lemon, but a lot smaller. Still, it's enough to get the clock going. And you can see that the electrodes don't have to go into the fruit very far, as soon as I just lightly touch the last one to the fruit, the clock already starts working. I tried it with a sweet potato as well, and that works too. The clock display was a bit funny there, but I got it to work. So it works with a lemon, a lime and a sweet potato, but what if, instead of a lemon clock, I made an Apple Watch. I don't have an Apple Watch yet, so this will be my chance. First I made sure that the clock worked with an Apple. It does. Then I had to assemble it into a watch. I used the same electrical tape I used to connect the wires and wrapped it around my wrist with the sticky side out so I could stick the clock right on. Then I use more tape to secure the apple halves to the sides of my wrist. And this took a while until I had enough tape that I could lift my arm off the table without my very fancy apple watch falling off. Ta-da! And if you're worried about your apple watch turning brown, just add some lemon juice from your lemon clock. The only difficult thing is removing the watch, but I guess that's just the price you pay for fashion. <laughs>